Do you think the nature of open houses will change once the NAR rules change for unrepresented buyers looking for a home? It's a fine question. My name is Liz and I sell real estate in Charlottesville and Richmond, Virginia. And this question got me thinking too. The thing about an open house is it's open to anyone. So anyone can walk through the door. So someone's just cruising by and they just stumble in because oops, they saw an open house sign and they've never even thought about buying real estate till that day. So they certainly don't have a buyer's agent, nor do they even know about a form that they would need to sign. So if we run to the front door and we're like, sign this form before you come in. That gets weird. But is that where we're going? What about if it was a little different? What about if they had to sign something stating that they knew that they were unrepresented before they came in? And what if that just became the norm? What about if it was just for the moment that they're in the house? A short term buyer broker. But would it work? I think we're all going to learn together on this, right? All the smart humans that are in real estate are going to figure this out. So let's stop freaking out. Oh, P.S. If you'd like to come to the Homegirls and Gents live training event, just comment Homegirls. I'll give you all the dee poos. It's free. It's on Zoom. You're going to love it. We'll probably end up talking about this too. Anyhow, what are your thoughts? Are we attacking people at the door? Is there a short-term form? What say you?